Hey everybody, it's PCK2 Walkthroughs here with another Wi-Fi battle. This one's from the Neo Seeker forums. Some person that uh, asked me to battle, so I battled him. Um, I don't remember his name, but if you're watching the video, you can uh, tell me what your name is. But yeah, so here we go. I lead off with my red and hot. Hoping to get some fake out. He leads off with his ninja -esque. I knew he was going to protect for the speed boost, thinking later on in the match he was going to baton pass out. But I went for the fake out anyway. But he never went for the baton pass, which kind of confused me. So he went for a substitute, because I thought he was sitting up for a baton pass. Because that's what usually lead ninjas do. But he never did that. But I went for a flare blitz to be safe. And yeah, his sub just took the damage, and it's going to fade. I took very little recoil damage on that, because it was a sub. And yeah. So I think here, he goes... Well, he gets the other speed boost, and I think he goes for another sub. That will protect to get another speed boost. And of course, I mean, tell me wrong if I am, but wouldn't you baton pass out if you're getting all these speed boosts to someone that has high attack? So I went for the Mog Punch just so I can get some damage on it, because the thing was pissing me off. And he finally baton passed. I was like, alright. I was thinking he was going to Swords Dance before that, but baton passes here into his Hariyama. Of course, you knew this thing was going to facade because of its guts ability. And of course, so, I finally saw I was like, alright, here we go. Guy's getting ready to sweep, but I knew he was going to kill me off here because my Red and Hot does not have that good defense. So yeah. Hariyama takes me out. And I go... So the poison damage takes him away. And I go into the only thing I have to wall this, my Cresselia. So he goes for the facade. I was alright. I know I can live this with pretty good. At least half, I thought. But it did a little bit. It did pretty much about half. So I go for the psychic, hoping I can take it out. But because I didn't get my um, calm lines up, it didn't take it out. So, I was like, alright, poison damage is going to do its toll right here. Now, right here, I didn't have protect. Use the facade, I was hoping I would survive this and get a moonlight off for his next poke, because I knew that the poison would take it out this turn. And I do survive it with 13 HP left, so I was so lucky with that. So, I got the moonlight off, got some HP back. I think I just got just over half. And yeah, now the um, poison's going to take him out. So I was like, alright, good. Now his like so-called sweeper is gone out of the game. Sends out a blissey. I was like, alright, I know this thing's going to wall me, but I wanted to get another moonlight off. Because of his high HP and his good special defense. Has crappy... Uh, physical defense though so yeah he goes for the toxic but misses so I was like oh thank god so I go for a calm line maybe get a uh, little Cresselia sweep going so he actually hits with toxic this time so I was like alright he has a timer pretty much on my Cresselia now because eventually this poison is going to wear me away so go for another calm line so I have two up I knew this was going to help. So he goes for Thunder. I was surprised because you usually have Seismic Toss on these things. So I knew that was not going to do anything because of his low special attack and my high special defense. So I go for the third Calm Mind just to see how much this was going to do. Because I knew he can't do much damage on me and Thunder doesn't hit a lot. And um... The poison's gonna just kind of wear me out in two or three more turns. So I go for a psychic to see how much it does a stab. And it actually did more than I thought it was. And yeah, he gets off a of thunder. And I think this turn he does it. He switches out to his ninjask. Let me see. Just wait. 
coming up now. Yeah, here he switches to his ninja ask, and I was like, what are you doing? I mean, my Cresselia was about to die anyway. He switches to his ninja ask, and he loses a Pokemon. So, I, I don't know what was behind that. I think that was a little stupid. When he could have just walled me out some more, and then the poison damage would have took out my Cresselia after. It wasn't really smart. I thought that made no sense at all. So, my Cresselia and his ninja ass go down. I lost two pokes, he's lost two. So he sends out his evergreen. I send out my bandit. bandit and, um, I go for the fake out. Now this right here I thought was pretty funny. So, Alright, I was going to get a lot of damage, so it was going down. It's going down. Going down. Going down going down, and I killed it with a fake out, a critical hit. Still, I thought it was pretty funny that I killed it with a fake out. Normally, don't see that. Alright, so I got that down, and I would have won for the last resort here, but I was afraid that it was scarfed, and it was going to kill me with the close combat, and I knew he was key, but so I sent him my Electivire. It wasn't smart, because he did take me out with his close combat. So I was like, shit. Because I figured I'd Earthquake after this, but he did take me out here. And, and there was a defense and special defense drop, which would help me out take this Infernape. Help me take this Infernape out so much easier. So yeah, I sent in my Spec Ops, knowing that he can survive a um, close combat, but he went for a Fire Blast. And I just go straight for the Brave Bird, like, yeah, because... Just in case if he was scarfed, wasn't sure. Uh, I knew he could take close combat, but he went for a fire blast and missed anyway, so yeah. So, I took him out with the Brave Bird. And I took some recoil damage. So it wasn't that bad at all. And now he's going to send out his Starmie. He's only two left. He sends out his Starmie. Not knowing I have... Um... Uh, Sucker Punch, but I'll go for the attack just to make sure he's actually going for an attacking move so I can do my Sucker Punch safely. And, um, yeah, so Sucker Punch is super effective. And that's just gonna kill his Starmie off. And yeah. Since it's his last poke, Blissey. I knew he had Thunder, and he'd probably kill me off, but I went for the Confuse Ray, just in case. If he was going for, like, a Toxic or something. So, he might be able to hit himself, and I can survive for the next turn. But, nope, he gets the Thunder off. So, he gets past the Confusion, and he hits with Thunder, low accuracy move. But, yeah, he kills off my Spec Ops. So, I was like, alright. I know I got this game in the bag, because I still have my Bandit. We can just fake out and last resort him. Or I can send out my life orbed um, Glade and close combat him. Because knowing that he has low physical defense. So I just send out my bandit to make it easy in my life. And I go for the fake out. I bring him down to yellow with this. So I was like, yep, I got this. And, uh, yeah. Then I just, after this turn, I'll go for the last resort, and I'll just finish him off. After he gets his lefties. So, yep. So, uh, yeah, good battle, whoever you are. I'll try to get his name on the Neo Seeker forums. So, if I do, I'll posted in the uh, description description but yep good game see you guys later i'll have another one uploaded soon see ya